Just about time to rock as Toe gets ready to meet Leather. And we are underway from Indianapolis. And he opts to not bring this one out. The first drive will start at the 25. So the Colts now coming out for their opening drive. They're bringing him out, the third overall pick from way back in 2008. A guy now in his 15th NFL season, Matt Ryan. Okay, I'm not taking a turn to negative town, even though it's going to sound like it. The two interceptions he threw last week, those obviously have to be eliminated, and that was the focus of practice this week. But let's face it, he did throw three touchdown passes. And they got the win. And they got the win, so I think it was a good week for him to work on things. Had some positives, the win being for first and foremost. Now he's just got to eliminate those interceptions. Here's a pass swung out left to his running back. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. And a really nice play call there to start the drive, especially if you're a team that has a little bit of a reputation for throwing it downfield. You come out, and you think maybe you can catch them off guard a little bit, and they did. Little screen pass, backdoor them, and that time worked well for a solid gain. They'll run. This is Jonathan Taylor. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. This running game so important for them, and they know that it helped lead him to a victory last week when he was over 100 yards. Let's face it, it's their identity, and that's what they want to play to. They want to be that team that runs the ball really well each and every week, and right now we're seeing a pretty good pattern of that happening. Back to Taylor on first down, and he is going to lose yardage here. That play going nowhere thanks to Ross Blacklock. Oftentimes when you see a running back get bunched up in the backfield, it's usually because the defensive tackle is eating up blockers for others to make the play. Not in this case. So their task a little bit more difficult now. Second and 13 that they're walking up on. From the shotgun, Ryan. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. And he's going to get this one to the 23-yard line. Well, it's football 101 because when you come in as the favorite team, you obviously don't want to hand any kind of advantage to an opponent ready for an upset. Now, you'll be lucky to only be down three zip the next time you get the ball back because you've just handed them a dose of confidence to start this game. They go play action. Mills. That's complete to his running back, Burkhead. And able to get this down inside the 15, either the 13 or 14, before he's out of bounds. They'll run it for the first time with Damian Pierce. And the Texans are going to be set up with a first and goal as strong running gets them to the nine-yard line. To throw, Mills. To Pierce, they set up the screen. Touchdown, Texans! Damian Pierce with touchdown number seven on the year. And the Texans take the early turnover and convert it into an opening touchdown. This is similar to baseball, where you walk the leadoff hitter and you don't expect him to come around and score. Almost impossible. Anytime a defense has to defend a short field, you usually end up seeing the result we saw giving up points. Kaimi Fairbairn on for the extra point. And the Texans take a 7-0 lead. So they only needed three plays on that drive. And Damian Pierce capped things off with a touchdown grab. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. The drive will start at the 25-yard line here as Rodgers will not return it. Second drive coming up here for the Indianapolis Colts. Now remember the last time out, they threw the interception. That led to the touchdown, so now time to regroup. It certainly is, and their goal right now as they go back out on the field, a calming drive, something that takes the ball, 
keeps it for a while, lets the defense relax a little bit, and lets the offense regain confidence in their game plan. Looking for Campbell downfield. And it's intercepted. Desmond King picks it. And the Texans are going to take over once again at their own 37-yard line. Well, they're certainly not giving much help to their defense, are they? Because for the second time now, that D has had to run back out on the field early after an interception. And remember, on the last drive, the opposing side took it in for six after that interception. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. You know, in our research packet this week, prepping for the game, so many articles from the local beat writer about the offensive struggles of this team and what will they do this offseason? What do you think they'll do? Well, number one, they'll turn to their self-scouting report. And every team that's any good does this. They have outside groups, check out their team, scout them, and tell you who can play, who can't play, and reasons why. Some of it may just be health. They have to get some guys healthy and back out on the field. But overall, evaluate this squad and make the changes that you need to. And Pierce gets it again on second down. And he'll pick up about three there, up to the 43. Well, this defense for the Colts, they were very strong in the win last week over the Giants. Yeah, and what stood out to me on tape, the way they were flying to the football. So that tells me that they've got all their assignments down and they're playing with extreme confidence. It's hauled in by Brandon Cooks. And he is going to have a Texans first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Mills on first down. He's going to go deep for Conley. And it'll be incomplete. Good job staying with him defensively. And it'll bring up second down. Well, these two teams met in Indy earlier in the year with the Colts coming out on top. So if they can find a way to win here in Indianapolis, they would take the season series 2-0. Well, they'll run it here on the jet sweep. And some room to maneuver. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. They get 14 on that one. Good for a Houston first down. I think the reason that this play is so successful is not just the blocking at the point of attack, but how about the speed at which he takes the handoff? He's in motion already, so he's not coming from a flat start like a running back often is. He's at a full run by the time he gets the football. A minimal gain as we tick down inside of a minute remaining in the opening quarter. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground honed in on it and stopped him. Mucked that down for a win in the defense's column. Now he dumps this off over the middle and they'll get him to the ground. He has another first down at the Colts 12 yard line. Texans passing game in rhythm right now, picking up another first. Well, as a coach, you absolutely love seeing your offense find their rhythm early and that's exactly what we've seen so far. They had a touchdown on their opening drive and now they connect here for another nice gain for a first down. This offense is moving the ball well, exactly as he drew it up in practice. Off the play fake, Mills. Catch made here by Rex Burkhead, is running back. And the Texans are looking at first and goal as he's tackled all the way down at the two-yard line. After one, seven-nothing on EA Sports. Throw complete by Mills. Touchdown! Brandon Cooks. A two-yard touchdown grab. And the Texans have taken a two-touchdown lead now. Had the option there, read it perfectly, and an easy little touchdown toss. And it has to be a sharp throw, too, because of where they are on the field. The extra traffic, things are condensed near the goal line. Good route by the receiver as well. Fairbairn now to add the extra point. And it's good to make it 14-0. So that drive consumes nine plays all told. And it's culminated by a two-yard touchdown run. Out is the Texans kick team as they'll send this one away. And Rodgers will hold on 
out of this one, and it'll come out to the 25. He's piloted two drives so far, and unfortunately not very well piloted. Both led to interceptions. Now they're facing the deficit. Another touchdown after that previous pick. Starting over here, first and 10. Ryan and the Colts getting set here, first and 10 at their 25-yard line. A carry by Taylor to start the drive. And he's going to get a good gain of nine here up to the 34. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while, get at least two first downs, give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up the touchdown. They get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. They run once more with Taylor. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. <laughs> I know we can't hear what's going on in that huddle right now, but I'll guarantee you at least one offensive lineman is saying, my bad, we simply couldn't move him off the line of scrimmage. We've got to do a better job trying to root those guys out of there. His first catch there, good for 10 yards and a first down. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time you wait for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Second down and seven. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up. Found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Ryan, a little pop pass, jet sweep. And he'll get inside the 40 to maybe the 38-yard line. That's a nice job there defensively, being able to diagnose that little touch pass. They saw it coming, converged on it before he could get much out of it. From the 38, Ryan. And his throw's going to be incomplete. Fair to say, hasn't been his best game throwing the football, but also not getting a lot of help out there either. Yeah, you kind of you nailed it pretty well, you know. <laughs> He's got to throw it better, got to get more help. Obviously one that should have been caught. They've got to find a way to bring those, those two elements together so they can make some progress in this one. That's good, the completion there for seven yards, and it'll be fourth down. Well, it wasn't a big strike. But that completion put them in really great range. What do we have now, fourth and inches? Yeah, it's not more than a half a foot. You know what I would do here? You would always go for it. <laughs> I'm one of those guys. So Ryan heads to the sideline, and out now is Rodrigo Blankenship for the Indianapolis field goal try. Blankenship's kick is good. And they will get themselves on the board here at 14 to 3. So that kick gives them their first points of the game, CD. And it comes on the third drive, but hopefully for them that's a spark that gets that offense going. Yeah, and I would say if you're the offensive play caller, as you look at your sheet, you're trying to find that part on there that unlocks bigger points. They struggled with a few drives so far, finally got three out of it. How do you find the end zone? That's what he's searching for now. So it's all down to this week 18 on the NFL schedule. And that means that once we sort things out, we'll all be set for our second ever Super Wild Card weekend, which I think everyone agrees was a runaway success last year. We've got two games coming up on Saturday, three more on Sunday, and then we'll put a bow on it Monday night. A first down throw for Mills. A leap, and he's got it. He got it. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. It's a gain of 34. In our pregame meeting, all they talked about was keeping him hemmed in and wanting him to make his throws from the pocket because they knew he was pretty dangerous if he got outside, and he just showed it right there. Pretty good arm, too. 
So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Play fake, Mills. Caught here by Conley. And he's going to be taken down at the 28-yard line. A good position to be in here, second and inches. From the gun, here's Mills. Finding a safety valve here. That's complete. So back-to-back -back plays, each get nothing. And they'll be faced with a third and inches. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. 14 yards that time and a first down on the keeper. Pretty ideal right there. Keep it yourself, get the first down, and get the heck out of bounds. And knowing him, I believe he's thinking, I can get a few more yards if I just lower my shoulder. But he also hears that second voice in his head, his head coach, or probably his agent too, saying, get out of bounds, man. Don't do that. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Flushed out right. He's got Jordan complete right side. Now the Texans will burn the first of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 26 seconds to go until halftime. Ball on the eight, it's second and four. Now Mills. And it's caught. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Now another timeout called for by the offense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. They scored touchdowns on drives one and two, and now they're trying to make it a perfect three for three to start. Working out of the gun, Mills. Open man is Cooks, he's got it. Touchdown, Texans. A great effort there as the first half is winding down. And the Texans would extend their lead here just before halftime. Well, just a sensational start for this offense, Charles. Three drives, three passing touchdowns. Is that like mentioning a perfect game in baseball? Or are we cool to do it here in football, partner? No, I think you can do it here in football. I think perfect game in baseball, that, that's its own category. Yeah, I think you're right about that. Could not imagine a worse start for that secondary. Or let's face it, a better one for this offense. No chance they stop passing now the way that it's going. I think they'll continue to press the ball downfield and hopefully reap the same results. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. And the Colts about to go on offense one final time in this first half. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. And they're just going to run it here up the middle. And defensively, they're just looking to keep him contained as they're able to get him down. The Colts going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 14 seconds to go in this first half. The last run got six, now second and four. Now Ryan. This will be taken in by Michael Pittman. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. On first down, Ryan. And Beasley with it over the middle. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. So three seconds here remain in the half on as the field goal unit to see about getting three points. 
And now the half not quite over yet. This is a live football on the miss. So we reach halftime in what's been a fairly one side. Hey, we get it. No time to waste. Playoffs starting next week. We skip right over halftime and get back to the action. It's the Texans in front, and they're going to get the football first as we are back underway in the third quarter. And they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30. And the Texans getting ready to go here to begin the third quarter. As this offense takes the field to begin the opening drive of the second half, Charles, remember in that first half, good through the air and really all around an outstanding offensive performance. Absolutely. They reached the end zone several times. The passing game working awfully well. And most importantly, partner. Yeah, they went to the tunnel with a the lead. They come back out with that lead. Absolutely. NFL coaches, we know they're perfectionists in a lot of ways, but they had to like what they saw in that first half. So the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. On play action, Mills. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. First target, first catch, and a first down. Pierce now up the middle. And they get to him after a gain of six to the 46. Now, Brandon, that's the way you want to run the football. There should almost be quote bubbles above the offense right now. Bam, boom, biff. That's how they feel good about moving the football. And Pierce gets it again on second down. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. Seven yards there and a first down. Running lanes were at a premium in the first half, but he's able to find some room there, and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. The first carry now for Rex Burkhead. And he's got this down to the 35. That's good for a Texan first down, a 12-yard pickup. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they are playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. First down, they go back to Burkhead. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Well, now hang on here because he appears to be shaken up. And this is certainly not what you want to see in the final week of the year. We'll be back. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Inside the red zone here. They'll look to throw. Touchdown, Texans! Brevin Jordan from 19 yards away. And the Texans take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. Well, partner, he has carried them in this ball game, throwing the football, all four touchdowns through the air, and that's really helped them get this nice lead. And I know it's a team game, but right now, he is truly the focal point. Every touchdown his team has so far has been the result of his arm. How about him throwing it downfield, creating big plays? I don't know how you slow him down unless you can make him uncomfortable in the pocket. Extra point by Fairbairn, up and good. And they open the lead up now to 25. Out is the Texans' kick team as they'll send this one away. Hines opting not to risk it, and this will come out to the 25. Here's the Colts now as they get ready for their first possession on offense of the second half. A CD, they certainly know the hole that they face as they begin the second half. They have to do what precious few teams have done in NFL history. That's try to come back from a four-possession deficit. And partner, you know as that team gathers, they're saying to each other, you never say never, right? Because if you're on an NFL roster, that's how you have to think. You can always come back and win a ball game. And let's face it, we saw a certain Super Bowl, a 25-point lead late that wasn't enough to put someone away. But that being said, this task is near impossible. Let's face it. And bottom line is, it officially becomes impossible if this possession is an empty one. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Now it's Ryan. 
Throw over the middle, going to be caught here by Mo Alley Cox. Short completion, just four yards, and it'll be second down. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on. Catching the ball and not much run after the catch. Final minute now of the third quarter. They run with Hines. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. Seven yards there and a first down. Now it's Ryan. Now that's into the hands of Mo Alley Cox, the tight end. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. That's good for an Indianapolis first down on a gain of 10. One quarter remains here as the regular season starts to wind down. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. They'll throw on first down with Ryan. Finding Williams on the check down. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Looked like a pretty good, safe play right there. No, he's had trouble with the interceptions in this game there. Hits his guy out in the flat. And so many times we hear quarterbacks and offensive coordinators talk about in your progressions, you're either throwing the touchdown or you're throwing the check down. But earlier in the game, it was touchdown or interception. Now he got to the check down, a nice safe throw and a good one. Now Ryan on first down. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he'll be taken down at about the 22-yard line. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They tackle them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. Looking for Jelani Woods that time. And it's third and four. Here's Ryan. Able to find his man, Woods. And he is going to have a Colts first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. On the give, this is their fullback. And he gets halfway home from the 10 to the 5 on a pickup of 5. Five yards remain on second down. Here's Ryan to throw. And he drops it incomplete. And their struggles continue here. They lead big, and a major part of that has been how they've taken their play to a whole new level this second half. No points allowed since the break. And you can add another incompletion to the total number that they forced in this runaway contest. Got a man. It's Pittman, and he holds it in for the Colts touchdown. A five-yard touchdown catch, and the Colts are finally into the end zone here in this fourth quarter. And all about timing there on that short slant, Charles. Exactly right. That was timed up so well. The route, the throw, touchdown. Blankenship now for the PAT. And this is up and good. It cuts the lead to 28-10 now. So that drive spans 13 plays. So still lots of work left to do, but here comes the onside kick. And the effort snuffed out. The Texans' hands team recovers. Well, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of an anecdotal type.
type of a number. Kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. And Pierce gets it again on second down. And a short gain there down to the 37-yard line. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll leave them with a third and three. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. It, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Texans football as we welcome you back. And for the Colts, an extra defensive back in there now on third down. Looking to throw his Mills. He gets it to Cooks. And he'll be touched out here, but not before he does pick up the first. Seven yards there, good enough to move the sticks. I don't care how many times we see it, I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass tree in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. And Pierce gets it again on second down. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. 49 yards rushing for him now as he's run it 11 times. Starting to become a tough spot for this defense. You're down fourth quarter, looking a little fatigued maybe on that side of the ball. Partner, we've seen this before, haven't we? Because every coach we've ever talked to says body language is important. And now you're seeing guys with their hands on their hips, they're bent over, hands on their knees. And the offensive guys are just saying, let's just keep running it at them. We've got them now. They go again with Pierce. And he'll be taken down here, and that is how this one is going to come to an end. 